many for so many years now shut your mouth close your ears never learned your lesson and nobody cares that's what you're here for What's good, folks? It's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video coming at you with Revenant Prime. Look, is, is, isn't he awesome? Yeah, they do a little spin thing. There we go. So you look, he looks amazing. In this Revenant video, I'm going to talk about four amazing builds. Well, three of them are actually practical builds. One of them is a nice meme build due to his recent changes. And it, it's, it's pretty fun, <laughs> not gonna lie. It actually makes him one of the fastest frames in the game, literally beating Volt in a foot race. Titania is still faster because she, she flies, but forget about her. This is Revenant we're talking about. As all you know, Revenant is the best tank in the game. Hey, what about it? Shut Not in Naros, for the love of God. Stop living under a rock. The boy himself, Revenante, is the best tank in the game. What makes him so good and unable to die or even take damage? Well, it's because of his Mesmer skin. It literally negates damage, gives you CC immunity, without an augment, by the way. And whenever anybody shoots you, you get to stun them and use your first ability free of cost. Oh yeah, and let's not forget about the additional iframes when you get hit. So let me show you what makes him tanky and powerful. So these guys are shooting at me. Oh, they got stunned, got an iframe. Boom, first ability, free of charge. And, and then I'm just sitting here, being chilling. I mean, this is one of his best survivability tools. And these guys, since they got the little thing on their heads, they're called, you know, thralls. So when they get enthralled, they affect other people. And if you have decent amount of power strength, you can just reeve right through them and they get one shot. And you create these little geysers here that deal damage. And they're not even targeting me because these guys just take so much more aggro. And when you reeve through enemies, you get charges on your Mesmer skin back. How about that? So hey, Nightmare Frame, you just spoke about his one, two, and three third ability. What about his fourth? We don't talk about his fourth. But, but he has, we don't talk about his fourth. Period. You see my little posse here? My little harem of heavy gunners? Well, screw these guys. All right, now that you get an idea of how Giga Chad a Revenant is, let's talk about the builds. So, the first build here, you can see it has roar. Why roar there, Mr. Nightmare Frame? Can you run like Eclipse? You can run Eclipse if you're doing a weapon build. Roar is more of a universal damage multi- Also works as a faction damage multiplier. This can work with literally anything, and it's very versatile. If you don't know this specific loadout, well, I did a video about it, was it a year ago? Where I took this against a level 9,999 and was just demolishing. And guess what? The build hasn't changed since. So that's good, right? Good use for you guys. So now I also decided to add an Umbral Formal on Revenant because he, it's the prime and I can. Let's take a look at the first build. In the aura, I got growing power. You know what that means, right? Proc is satisfied, you get power strength. And that affects all your other abilities when that buff is active. Pretty damn good. The Exilus can be whatever you want. You can run prime sure-footed preparation. If you're going with a gun loadout, you got your vigilante pursuit for that enemy radar and bonus crits. You know, all that good stuff. But preparation if you're going in and out, you know, simple ass missions, it's the way to go. Power strength at 298% modded power strength, that is, because of blind rage. I'm going to testify. That wasn't blind rage, just transient fortitude, right? All the good stuff. And we got molt augmented. So this thing is just mm, getting loaded with power strength because making his mesmer skin better, giving us a better roar. And since we're over 250% power strength, we're, we're gonna one shot with Reeve if the enemies are enthralled. But you can also one shot them when they're not enthralled by using a little technique I'll show you after. That's the other build. You know, you see that little nuke tab right there. We got our large energy pool because with the Revenant release, we got 25 extra energy. So making it better. 
better. Streamline just to reduce the energy costs that we use because this is a negative efficiency build. Natural talent just increasing our casting speed because that all those casts are friggin' slow so we gotta use that rolling guard just for that additional safety measure because you can get into a situation where your mesmer skin will be shredded so you gotta reposition yourself get, give yourself those three seconds of vulnerability to engage and disengage very useful and of course arcane energize for that large energy economy income regen all that good stuff okay okay here we are on the second build now this build is our nuke build it will basically gather in enemies and you reeve right through them basically one shotting them let's show you how this is done but, 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 but don't you need to enthrall them to no no that's a good thing about this thing because reef already deals percentage based damage depending on your power strength and then viral allows you to deal more damage to the health so combining those two we're basically debuffing them with viral procs and reaving right through them using the epitaph here modded for viral and that allows me to cover more ground with its quick tap fire and of course ensnare allows me to group up enemies a lot easier so see that proc everybody got the juice and then rave right through them Yes, you did see that. And this build is very energy efficient as well. Let's check it out. We replaced the fourth ability because we don't use that garbage. The build, very simple. Growing power yet again. But here, I'm using Bauer Drift. For this, uh, make uh, more Bauer. It's just 15% more power strength, but that's about it. Range at 175% with Stretch and Augur Reach. Very good. Our energy economy is going to come from Prime Flow, Equilibrium, and Energize. Why Equilibrium, sir? Well, because we're going to be using using our Panzer Vopal Phyla with some, you know, very interesting mods, which I will show you, don't worry. Duration at 128% because of, you know, transient fortitude. We, we, we need we need some power strength, but we also need to have some duration in there, that's why. And our two power strength mods are both transient and umbral intensify. We're gonna get even more due to power drift, growing power, and molt augmented. Here you may notice, why don't we have natural talent? Well, because we're also gonna be using the Matterai Focus Cool. For example, this is the normal cast. There is a slight delay, but if you void dash, you get that power transfer. It's faster. Oh my God, that's amazing. Why? Because of the Madrai Focus School node, Bow Transfer, right? It gives you 50% casting speed. That's literally a natural talent, exactly. Why do I also void dash instead of just going in and out of operator? Well, because we also are using Sling Strength, an additional 40% Bow Strength. Okay, now what's with the pains are in getting energy back? So you see equilibrium, right? It converts health into energy and energy to health. But, but, but we, we can't pick up health if we're full health. That's where the Panzer comes in. Listen, the Panzer Vopophila, it's got its viral quill. This basically cooms on enemies, which counts as an assist right there. Enemies injured. They just have to, you know, get, get touched without consent with the panzer. And that basically gives us more chances to drop health orbs. And then with synth fiber, it allows us to pick up those health orbs regardless. So for example, right, health over there. Look, we're just being chilling right here. And we can just infinitely get health orbs and we get energy back. And what is our epitaph primer? Well, it's pretty damn simple. We got our viral right here. See frostbite and pestilence. And then we got heat. Sure shot and carnage stinger are here for the additional status chance increase. Prime fulmination to give you a bigger radius. The two multi-shot mods for, of course, additional procs. And making this very, very versatile. Dexterity works with melees very well. There you go okay now on to the third build so so i saw you you're using the karist prime and the argonac well, what, are, what are those used for well i'm glad you asked because that is for the, the, the third build the third build is using zata zata's whisper is a very unique ability which comes from zaku so this ability is a separate instance of damage it applies and coats your weapons with void damage and this void damage scales for your mods from power Power strength and faction damage mods so it's it's pretty damn powerful so when i say a separate instance of damage i mean that it applies an additional hit think of it like when you smack someone right you smack someone and then someone else's hand coming in there 
and it procs a void bubble. This works really well with a lot of gun builds, but it also works with a nice, unique mechanic. And that mechanic is gas daggers. Well, if you didn't know, I'll break it down very simply. So the Argonac has a special amalgam mod. This amalgam mod is called Amalgam Argonac Metal Auger. Damage from daggers reduce armor by six. That's pretty much a shattering impact, but better. Why, why better? Because this works really well with DOT and AOE DOT. So gas electric are amazing for this loadout and here i have the charist charist is a dagger so yes it only works with daggers not dual daggers why charist in particular well because it comes with innate toxin damage which basically freezes us a single mod slot allowing for even more funny funnies let's take a look at the charist build here we go we got point of wind and the stance conditioner of load you know more unique status effects on a target will increase your base damage base damage prime reach use it don't be a douche monkey you're not killing one enemy at a time you're killing hordes of enemies this went from two meters to 5.2 meters allows you to cover a wider range build combo faster all the good stuff okay if you're probably doing this in a disruption yes you may draw prime reach for gladiator might or whatever you want a ribbon who knows anyway organ shatter for our crit damage spike rainier for a faction damage multiplier berserker berserker is very good if you're doing survival if you're doing disruption yes replace it with prime fury or quickening quickening is also very good because it allows you to build up combo faster as well with each hit and the one element mod here which is the heat one which allows us to make gas with just one mod amazing right weeping wounds to increase our status chance we have more consistency over there and of course the last mod is an attack speed mod because charist is dookie doo doo when it comes to attack speed so that's why we're, we're stacking this guy up with a bunch of attack speed we got berserker glider vice some initial attack speed but also gives us that more crits and we have arcane strike all right Let's show you how this kills very, very smoothly. So we're also using Magus Anomaly. Pull him in. That was a couple of hits. Look at all that gas proking everywhere. See? Armor stripped. And they just die very easily. I'm not attacking them, like, properly. So if we're in an actual survival, we just hit them and... Th they're dead. Let's take a look at the Revenant build. So, in the aura here, we have Swift Momentum for that beautiful six seconds of combo duration. That, that's, that's, that's all it's used for. Speed Drift! Some casting speed and sprint speed, just making us a little bit faster. Duration, still the same because of transient and continuity. But here, it's similar to the first build because we got Blind Rage and Intensify as well. Natural Talent Streamline, pretty much the same as the first one. We just changed a little bit. And of course, we put Arcane Strike for additional attack speed when we crit. And we are going to be critting 100% of the time. And now here we are in Orvalis. But, but, but hey, what happened to the fancy simulacrum? Well, this is also because of the fourth build, which is the uh, Memish build. This build is also going to be fun for other types of missions, you know, quick, fast missions. But why? Well, because we can do things like this. And then here we go. You saw that, right? I got stuck, but as you can see, we're popping off. We're fast. Give you a two second head start. Two seconds. God damn, bro. This guy wants. Okay, do it. Do it again. Anyway, the build is very simple. We have the Argonac again because we can mod Amalgam Serration for that 25% sprint speed. And the build itself, we have Infested Mobility because this gives us additional sprint speed, which scales off power strength. All right, sprint boost in the aura for that additional sprint speed. Rush for that additional sprint speed. Armored Agility for that additional sprint speed. We don't care about the armor, it's just, just for the sprint speed. And then some power 
power strength here and duration because it also scales with duration power strength will affect invested mobility give us giving us even more sprint speed preparation for that initial energy right at the start of every mission so you can just start and go boom 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 you're fast which pairs well with prime flow and and that's pretty much the build speed build you can you can, you can use this to fool around with your friends you know race them say hey i i i'm faster it's like no i'm faster and then you can just flex all right folks that has been it from this video i hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it if you did feel free to leave a like share and subscribe for more warframe content streams and so much more do refer to the description <laughs> Thanks for watching, and as always, peace. And don't forget, uh, if you see any funny thing in the comments, we'll be sure to troll and be toxic. Because that's what we do here. Alright, anyway, take care. Have a good one.